that, I'm afraid, is Yuki Sonoda. And they'll go and do another formation lap, and the race will be one lap less then. And after a 23-minute delay, we are ready to go here at Monza for the Italian Grand Prix. It's lights out, and away we go. It's 290 metres down to Turn 1. Carlos Sainz comes over to cover Max Verstappen. Charles Leclerc slots into third place. Sainz is leading them into that first corner then from Verstappen. Then comes Leclerc. Then George Russell on the inside of Charles Leclerc. They're all safely through as Carlos Sainz gets out of the chicane and into the lead. Super impressive driving from all of them. Sainz did exactly what he had to do to cut Verstappen off and now Leclerc's under pressure once again. From George Russell as we head to the second chicane, Alex Albon looking for a move on Oscar Piastri, wasn't there for him. It's uh, Carlos Sainz out of the lead from Verstappen and then Leclerc. Max Verstappen gets DRS and it's only worth about an extra seven kilometres an hour but with the slipstream as well it is mighty important for Max Verstappen who just gets, his, gets alongside Carlos Sainz and then runs out of room going into that first chicane. He almost got that move done. Did he lose time, though, to Charles Leclerc in trying the overtake? Uh, was about that was a fraction away from both cars uh, coming together. But Carlos didn't need to do that. That's... And Perez and Russell didn't want to do that either. So is the place going to have to be swapped? I'm sure they'll both be on the radio. Yeah, and he's been his crew swapped over. So um... this is what happened. Uh, he's just ahead. Um, into the braking zone, but as he outbreaks himself. Yeah, I think he outbreaks himself there, didn't he? Verstappen's coming at him. Verstappen thinks about a move down the inside, and then Carlos Sainz locks up. And that will be a very good sign uh, for Max Verstappen to see the Ferrari doing that, getting out of the chicane. Verstappen gets much better traction, and through the curve of Grande now, Verstappen just inches ahead, and Sainz is trying to find this all the way with better top speed. He's fighting back. It's about a metre ahead as into the next chicane we go. Verstappen's on the inside. Verstappen is ahead here in Monza. Carlos Sainz fought it for 14 and a bit laps, but he could fight no more as our new race leader, Max Verstappen, gets past the Ferrari. Right, they have to pit Sainz straight away, surely now. As uh, Sainz now stops and also coming into the pits is George Russell at Mercedes. That doesn't hold Carlos Sainz up. 3.3 seconds, they could have done with half a second less stationary time, just the way that Mercedes did with George Russell. Verstappen uh, does pit, two and a half seconds stationary time. Leclerc is next into the uh, pit lane, but I think with Verstappen, Martin, they had to cover off Charles Leclerc, yeah. and that's why they uh, didn't bring Perez in. Charles Leclerc comes out, and as he makes his way into the first chicane, his teammate Carlos Sainz just pops ahead of him, and that was a lot closer than the two Ferrari drivers would have liked, and I'm sure their team boss, Freddy Vasseur, as well. Carlos Sainz is ahead of uh, Charles Leclerc. Perez now comes into the pits, and we'll see where he comes back out onto the track, because this could be nip and tuck too. And as Perez comes out, there goes Sainz, and there goes Leclerc. Leclerc doesn't have DRS. And that is costing Charles Leclerc, and Sergio Perez can sense it, but I think later breaking from Charles Leclerc manages to keep hold of that uh, third place. Desperate times, desperate moves, and stout defending from Charles Leclerc. Sergio Perez has got great traction coming around the curve of Grande. He's trying to work out which way do I go? Left, right, left, right. He's going right, and he's touched and made contact potentially. Certainly got onto the gravel, did uh, Sergio Perez. He was desperately trying to fight his way past uh, Charles Leclerc. That could have ended very, very badly. It happened on the previous lap, and Sergio Perez goes towards the right-hand side and then makes the move, swoops around. Charles Leclerc tries to fight him back under braking into that first chicane, but he can't. Perez then up into the podium places, one Ferrari dispatched, another Ferrari to go. As they get their foot flat to the floor, who's got the better grip, who's got the bravery around the curve of Grande, they are going millimetres from each other. Lewis Hamilton and Oscar Piastri, oh. and they've crashed! And Lewis Hamilton makes contact with Oscar Piastri, and they both make their way through the escape road, but is there damage there on is. that Mercedes or the McLaren? Front wing damage on the McLaren, that'll have to come in. Hamilton's got a penalty, as into the chicane we go now, Albon still ahead of Lando Norris and for causing a collision. Lewis Hamilton gets a five-second time penalty. And what was your comment, Martin? Fernando Alonso will wake up, he might smell some points here. Here goes Lewis Hamilton on Lando Norris, who's been trying to get past Alex Albon 
for so, so long, and he might now find himself behind, and does find himself behind the rear wing of the Mercedes. Hamilton moves up into seventh place, and he'll have a go at Alex Albon next. And they're trying to break the toe, Carlos Sainz, but they're now wheel to wheel, and Perez looks like he's ahead, and Perez has got his man as Carlos Sainz locks up. Sergio Perez finally makes the move stick, finally goes through the first chicane the right way, and finally gets second place. He'll check out now. His teammate, Charles Leclerc, overtaking him down the straight at Monza uh, to take a podium place. Carlos Sainz has battled so hard during the course of this race. Charles Leclerc gets ahead, moves up into the podium places, but locks up in doing so. Just outbreaks himself a little bit. The Ferraris are going to carry this scrap on now through the curve of Grande. Oh, there wasn't much room there. What was there between the wheels on two cars? And now, through the curve of Grande they go. Charles Leclerc's on the inside. Carlos Sainz is giving him enough space, but we've seen moves go desperately wrong into this chicane. And Sainz locks up, and somehow they avoid contact. Sainz is back ahead of Charles Leclerc. That could have been nasty. And no risk. No risk. Oh, and Charles Leclerc locks up, goes straight on into the runoff area, and that first chicane, Carlos Sainz retakes that third place. It is going to be another win for Max Verstappen. For the first time in F1 history, it's 10 wins in succession. A perfect 10 out of 10 for Max Verstappen as he wins the Italian Grand Prix. It's a 1-2 finish for Red Bull. It is a fight all the way to the line for Ferrari. And Carlos Sainz comes home by a tenth of a second to beat his teammate Charles Leclerc. Listen to the roar. I knew they'd enjoy that. Carlos Sainz started on pole, defended as hard as he could, but couldn't tame the Bulls. Who can in 2023? Max Verstappen, 10 out of 10 in succession.